What up, Brad here, how's it going? Welcome back to another video. So I'm gonna start out most of these competitive guides the same way. And I just wanna let you guys know what my thought on competitive Pokemon is. Um, I don't I don't do VGC, Smogon, any stuff like that. So any kind of things you see like guides on here or how you should run a Pokemon or whatever else is just my opinion. It's how I like to do it. I think it's personally more fun. I don't know, it's just my personal preference. So hopefully you'll learn a little something about the Pokemon, know that no move that you didn't know they knew or whatever else. These are not supposed to be, I'm going to go to Worlds with this Pokemon and stuff like that. It's just for fun. Anyways, let's get right into the video. What up? Welcome to the new series. How's it going? Episode 1 is going to be Vicavolt. You might be asking yourself why I'm doing Vicavolt. Uh, this whole series is just Pokemon I like to do, personally. Uh, it's just Pokemon I really like. You'll see some in there that it's like, oh, it's definitely in Brad's top 10. You'll know that and stuff like that. But either way, we're going to get right into Vicavolt because I don't want to waste too much of your time. You know, I know it's kind of funky, look, look, like a different freaking layout, you know. I can't really talk, but it's a different kind of layout. I didn't know what to do with it, so I just put the two screens up, and I was like, I'm going to put my face right in the middle. Because you guys like my face in the middle, right? <laughs> so let's dive into this. So why did I go with a bold nature Vicavolt when you go with Modest? Bold nature fits really well, because one of your main weaknesses is going to be Rock. And uh, Rock is mainly going to be physical. So you're going to see a lot of Rock throws, Stone Edge, stuff like that. You, you're not going to take them too well. Most of the Pokemon that dish them out, Rock type has a really high physical attack Pokemon, you know, you see stuff like Steelix, you're going to see stuff, Gigalith, stuff like that, it's really slow and everything, but you know, aside from the point, you see a lot of physical moves, so Bold fit really well to me, because 145 special attack, you're going to deal some damage, it doesn't matter what you're doing to them, stab or not, you're going to deal some solid damage, and a lot of rock types are going to be specially, uh, like, uh, physically defensive, not specially defensive, you know, you look at someone like Steelix, or someone like Gigalith, someone like that that has lower... Gigalith actually isn't too bad in the special defense side, but regardless, that's going to work out really well for you. Having You can take those physical hits. I know for a fact I can take a rock throw from a Steelix. I know that for a fact. Adam and Steelix too. One of my buddies, I battled him, took it. I lived on like 20, but I took it. That's the main thing you got to remember. If you can get an energy ball off or something like that, you're going to do some damage. The point is to do some damage. Because you want to, like, if it's something that's like a wall of theirs... Now you want to have your own, uh, you want to have your own wall to an extent, but you want to be able to hit their walls really, really hard. That's the plan, and Vicavolt does that. And uh, when you look at my EV distribution, so we'll go through here real quick. The EV distribution that I did, I kind of fucked up. Uh, it's supposed to be fully in Spadef, not a little bit in speed. I forgot to like do one more SOS encounter. My bad. But <laughs> you get what I'm going for. Full special attack, because you do still want to hit really hard. And that'll make up for the not nature somewhat, you know, not fully, but it will make up for it a little bit. And the Spadef, just to take that those fire hits, because fire is going to be primarily uh, special. So the, the two moves that Vic Volt has, it'd be nice to put him in one defense bolt, but both the things that he's weak to are going to be different things. So fire is going to be special, and rock's going to be physical most of the time. He doesn't have any four times weaknesses, which is awesome. So then we're going to get into where the item is at. I use Assault Vest, and I didn't really mean to use Assault Vest. I was going through the battle tree, and I thought, dude, let's try Assault Vest out. And I mean, I took, I've took i taken Fire Blast from Magmortars, and so I've taken a lot of crazy hits with this Vicavolt, using the uh, the special defense being boosted by the Assault Vest. As you can tell by the stats, it nearly evens them out. So the 148, 140, if I had, I was going to put that extra little bit into defense anyways, and I accidentally put it into speed. And then I was going to put it in special. I've changed it back and forth. I would say put it into special defense because you can use a little bit more. But if you want to put it in defense, you, know, you can put those extra 8 points in defense. Um, the moveset that I like to go with. Bug Buzz is going to be kind of essential. It's going to be your main stab. Aside from an electric move, but your main bug stab that you're going to hit really hard with. And I believe Bug Buzz has a chance to lower the spadef. So if you can manage to get that off and then survive the hit, you know, maybe you take less than half. Maybe you're faster somehow. You probably won't be faster. But <laughs> maybe take less than half or maybe less than a third or whatever else. And you get the bug buzz off. It lowers their spadef. And then you take another hit. Boom. They're gone. That's how you destroy a wall pretty well. With that at least. You know, it may not always happen. Sometimes it is just chance. Maybe you get one hit off. You lower the spadef. Somebody else comes in finishes it off. That wouldn't be able to finish it off without that spadef lowering. You know what I mean? So bug buzz is going to be your main bug stab that you're going to want. Uh, when it comes to electric, I use Discharge because I like ground types. So I use a lot of ground types partnered with Vicavolt. The Discharge Earthquake is amazing. Always has been, always will be. 
And uh, like Donphan is a prime example of an amazing Pokemon because Vicavolt's going to dodge that Earthquake using Levitate. You know, it's not using it, but it has the ability to Levitate. He's going to dodge that Earthquake. He's going to send off a Discharge, not going to hit Donphan. It's been tried and true for years. It'll never go away. You can run Thunderbolt if you want. And hell, you can run Thunder if you really want to just fucking annihilate something. You can run Thunder if you're really going for that kind of thing. Uh, Flash Cannon. So I do Flash Cannon. I didn't even know he got Flash Cannon until I got Vicavolt. And I was like, son of a gun, dude. Well, we got to solve a fairy, uh, fairy killer right here. Because most Pokemon, like most fairies are going to be specially defensive. So you can hit them on the physical side. But if you have to hit them on the special side, again, you can lower this Spadef. can be a good thing on that one. And it's, it's always nice to have a Steel type move. You got another Rock Counter. You know, you have another, like, it, it's, it's just always nice. You come across, like, a Nihilego. I just got a Nihilego in one hit with my Flash Cannon. And yeah, it might have had a little bit lower its Spadef than it should have. Could have been, it was a random kid on a Wi-Fi battle, so... I'm not going to sit here and guarantee what his stats were, but I did take it out. I don't, I don't do damage calcs. I like to kind of just play around and see what works. I'm in Pokemon to have fun. You know, I'm not I'm not here to, like, win worlds. So then you go down, and I, I put Energy Ball in here. I don't think Energy Ball is essential. You could do Roost. Uh, I didn't really look at any other moves you could really do too much. But you could play around with the 4 slot for sure. I would say the essential ones are going to be your Bug Buzz, Discharge, and I like Flash Cannon. You don't need it, though. Uh, energy ball is really good again you got the lowering the spadef so there's a chance on three separate moves you could lower the spadef say you can't break that wall down we got a chance to lower that that gives you a chance you didn't have before you know what i mean maybe you just love vicable like i just love rafale rafale is like my favorite like seven chin pokemon both in color and how it performs in battle and just overall design everything so i personally just love that you know that that could be why you use the specific pokemon but, I mean, if you just, like, you're like, okay, I'm facing, I don't know, Garchomp. And say, for some reason, they're running a Assault Vest Garchomp. You know, you don't see it, fine, whatever. Maybe he's got max defense, Assault Vest, similar to how this set is made. Well, I mean, you get Energy Ball off, not going to do great, but you break it down a little bit. And then you get a nice beam off from another Pokemon you have in the back. You know, so you have, like, a Glaceon or something along those lines. That can be how you have to look at this kind of stuff and how it can break walls down. But that's pretty much going to cover my overall Vicavolt thing. Again, you can play with a lot of these things. If you ever have any questions, you guys can feel more than free to... Uh, I don't know how to get off that. There we go. You can feel more than free to like hit me up on Twitter if you want to leave a comment below being like, yo, what do you think of this or whatever else? Maybe I'll make a video on it. I do plan on doing a lot of these competitive guides. I really have been getting back into competitive. I was really in it in 6th gen. Like really, really in it going to tournaments and everything. And then I just kind of stopped. You know, I got a job, I got a girlfriend, and it just kind of all fell back. And now it's like this whole YouTube thing. I want to really get into this and I want to really make some Pokemon that are different. You know what I mean? Like, you'll see in a couple of the sets that I have, I like to run some funky ass Pokemon, but it pays off. And sometimes it's more fun when it pays off in a weird way instead of just using a Drizzle Kyogre with, or whatever, Primordial Sea Kyogre with freaking water. Uh, I can't think of the words right now, but you know what I mean? Instead of using all these generic sets that you always see and you see the same Pokemon, oh, make sure you put a life form on this guy. It's going to be great. That's boring as fuck, dude. Have a little bit of fun with your Pokemon and just try different things, man. Like, SOS encountering is so easy to get, like, shinies and stuff in this game. Have a little bit of fun. But anyways, I'm going to end that for episode one. Uh, there's going to be a lot more of these to come. And, uh, yeah, thank you guys for checking it out. If you did enjoy, make sure you leave a like. And if you got any questions, leave it in the comments. And uh, subscribe if you enjoyed it. Or if you want to subscribe. You don't have to do it if you enjoyed it. But if you do want to subscribe, it is very much appreciated to me. I'm trying to get a little bit bigger so we can get this thing really going. We can have some fun on this channel. Yeah, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Deuces.